Tonight, we are wearing pink here at NBC 26 to show our support for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now this year, nearly 250,000 people will learn they do have breast cancer. It could be your mother, your daughter, or even you. This weekend, survivors, caregivers, and loved ones will work together in the fight to save lives. Stacey Ingebretson shows us how you can get involved in tonight's NBC 26 Cares. The home of the green and gold is about to transform into a sea of pink as thousands lace up their walking shoes to raise awareness and funds during the annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event. Kathleen Blake is celebrating nine years of being cancer free. My positivity is what got me through. From the dreaded diagnosis. You're not quite sure you're hearing what they're telling you. To months of chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. Very tough journey. Kathleen is a warrior and a survivor. It is such a relief and you try to get your life back together again. Part of that rebuilding process for Kathleen is participating in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. It's really a day where you can celebrate, you know, the survivors, certainly support those still fighting and remember those that we've lost. At this year's event, Kathleen is also part of the Pink Powerhouse Pull, teaming up with other survivors and caregivers to pull a semi-truck 20 feet. Show how strong you know we are and can beat this cancer. Jess Schofield is also raising funds for the American Cancer Society as part of the Real Men Wear Pink portion of the event. To me it's just important that we cease cancer so that people don't have to go through the trials and tribulations that my aunt did. Jeff's aunt survived and now the senior vice president of Associated Bank sits atop the leaderboard collecting over $7,000 in donations, money that will fund breast cancer research, patient support services and early detection and prevention. Since 1989 we've had a scene of decrease of 38 percent. So um, it is amazing and that results into you know almost 300,000 lives that are saved. But organizers say more needs to be done. They're encouraging the community to join the walk, have some fun. The energy of excitement and the energy of doing something good and the energy of giving back, it's really contagious. And show breast cancer patients and survivors that no one walks alone. And we just got to continue to fight and beat this thing. The two and a half mile Making Strides Walk is this Saturday, October 14th. Registration starts at 7.30 a.m. inside the Lambeau Field Johnsonville Tailgate Village with the walk at 9. There will also be kids activities, a tailgate party with live music and much more. Go to NBC26.com for more information. Stacey Engebretson, NBC26. So the goal is to raise $155,000, and Cassandra, you are part of the Pink Powerhouse Pullers. I am. This year, I'm not going to be pulling, though, because we're so close to the end of the pregnancy, <laughs> but I'm going to be cheering on those pullers. It's going to be a wonderful day out there. You know, if you'd like to raise money and help us donate or just come down to Making Strides, it's going to be an absolutely wonderful day. You have that really great time to cheer everybody on crossing that finish line. Come cheer on Cassandra. Yes, please do. Well, the